This is the Polar Ice Care Unit. This can be used to help with post-operative pain control. In the box, you will get a Polar Care ice chest, a plug-in, and a universal cooling pad. On the unit, you will take the plug-in, this small adapter, and it will plug into the back of the unit about here, and then you will just plug this into your wall. You'll then take the lid off of the chest and there's step-by-step -step instructions to set up the filter. And then you may fill with water and ice. You can also use mini frozen water bottles in this setting as well. You will then take the tubing and connect it to the bottom of your pad. This will just snap in. We typically fit the ice pad to you at the time of surgery, but if you take it home beforehand, this is how you'll set it up. On the shoulder, you'll center the pad here, and then you'll use these two adjustable Velcro straps to make sure it's snug to your arm. This bottom strap will go underneath the arm and wrap around. The top strap is typically used behind the back and under your other arm to secure in the front. There's really no right or wrong way to put these straps on as long as it's snug. Underneath the pad, you'll want to make sure you have a thin layer of fabric, such as a t-shirt or a towel. This pad that we carry in our office is a universal pad, so it can be used on multiple joints. One being the shoulder and two being the knee. Make sure that when switching the pad, you still use a thin layer between the pad and the skin. To secure on the knee, you typically just wrap the two straps around and tighten to your liking. The first few days post-operatively, we recommend using this several times a day. You will leave the pad on for 20 to 30 minutes and then take the pad off to allow the skin to warm back up to room temperature. You can then use it throughout the day as you please. To unclip the pad from the unit, you'll just squeeze the two metal tabs.